Morning guys, Andy here. Welcome to uh, Saturday for Happiness A. Uh, this morning we are doing a home hit workout. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, as I said, my name is Andy. Um, I am a qualified fitness coach. I uh, have been for the last about 12 years now. Um, working down here in Melbourne, work with a whole variety of people. Um, yeah, it's, it's something I really enjoy and, you know, and love helping people uh, to achieve things that they didn't think that they could um, and equally too, you know, just helping to improve people's everyday life. You know, obviously everyone had, comes to us for different reasons and um, yeah, it's always, you know, it's always great to see people improving themselves. So thanks for jumping on this morning, guys. Thank you for watching this later on. Uh, as I said, it's going to be a home hit workout, obviously uh, just going to go through at your own pace. If you, um, I'll, I'll be giving some alternatives. So if you can't jump or those types of things, um, just make sure you're listening out for the alternatives. Uh, but let's get into it. So what I'm gonna get you to do to start off with guys is jumping down onto your back. Just gonna start off with a nice gentle warm up. Okay, so just a little bit of mobility. So on the back, ankles and knees together, just gently rolling side to side. So hands out in line with the shoulders. So just trying to mobilize through our lower back here. So we're just jumping on guys, just jump down, getting into some back rolls, some back rotations. See a few people on. Once you've done probably half a dozen each side, so about six each side, then we're gonna go into just a wrist and forearm stretch, okay? So uh, just find either on the floor or on a table. So for me, so you guys can see, I'll do it on the coffee table here. So fingers pointing back towards, just trying to flatten out the hands on the table, get a stretch out through the forearms, through the wrists. So nice stretch through there. So once we've done fingers pointing back, then let's roll the hands over. Okay, so you might want a softer surface with this one. So you can do this on the ground as well. <clears throat> Still fingers pointing back towards the knees, but this time it's the back of the hands that are heading down towards the floor, on the floor. Okay, so like I said, just a really good stretch out for the forearms and the wrists. If you're a little bit tight through there. <clears throat> Morning guys. All right, so once we've done those ones, gonna get into a little bit of a more dynamic warm up now. So what we're gonna do, first one, it's gonna be high knees. So if you need to, you can step these out. Otherwise, obviously want you jumping on the spot. So it'll be high knees, then star jumps. Okay, so remember the star jumps side to side, or if you need to, feet going forwards and backwards, if you've got any pelvic floor issues. Hey Donnie, how you doing? And then the last one is a set of mountain climbers. Okay, so Gonna go for about 20 seconds on each one. Try and, we'll try and have minimal rest in between each. Okay, so high knees, star jumps, and mountain climbers. Ready, first one, high knees, two, one, let's go. So we really wanna concentrate on getting those knees up, staying up on the toes, okay? So we're using our arms as well, exactly like you would if you're running. Concentrate, get those knees up nice and high, nice and high. Really good practice for having good running technique. Nice high knee lift, two, one. All right, into star jumps. So feet out, hands together at the top. Again, make sure you're keeping the heels up. Pardon me. Let's see, nice job guys. Almost done. Last three, two, and one, so down into a push-up position for mountain climbers. Remember these, keep your hips down, hands under shoulders, knees coming up under the belly button, toes off the floor. Okay, ready, let's go. Sit nice, keep those hips down, keep the weight over the hands, Last three, two, 
One, nice work. All right, straight back up into our high knees again. So same as before, make sure you're using the arms, swing the arms backwards and forward. Knees up nice and high. Hopefully should be starting to warm up. And you definitely need to warm up down here in Victoria this morning. It's freezing cold, wet and cold out there. All right, next one, star jumps. See, nice work. So same thing, meet the hands together over the head, heels up. Stay nice and light on our feet. Almost done. Last three, two, one. All right, jumping down into mountain climbers. Hey, Jace. All right, last one, ready? Let's go. So 20 seconds. Hands under the shoulders, hips down. Let's get those knees up under the belly button. All right, guys, that'll do for the warm up. Nice work. Sorry, I should have. All right, guys, so this morning, sorry, just really quickly changing the time period for the workout. So, workout is going to be uh, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds to recover. Okay, so we'll go through three exercises in a row and then we'll change them up. Hey, Abby, how you doing? Watching in bed. I know. Oh. It's very difficult getting out of bed this morning. Like I said, it's cold and wet out there. Anyway, all right, so first round, guys, gridirons. So gridiron, it's a squat, okay? So I want you to keep the upper body nice and tall. Want the fingers to touch the floor. Once your fingers touch the floor, it's jump up, 180 turn, touch the floor, okay? Key with these is try and keep your eyes in the one spot. So keep your eyes looking straight ahead and just turn the body, that way you're not gonna get dizzy. If you're turning your head side to side, you're gonna get dizzy. So lock the eyes onto one spot. So from here, I'd look at the wall ahead. Okay, like I said, really concentrate, get down nice and low, upper body nice and tall with a the squat. Then you've got crossover mountain climbers. So same as before, push up position, but opposite knee to opposite elbow. So across the body. So those ones you might just need to slow down a little bit and then we'll jump down for a set of side taps, okay? Whew. All right, so like I said, 30 seconds of each one, about 15 seconds to change over to the next exercise. First one, grid irons ready, two, one, let's go. So remember, like I said, keep the eyes in one spot. So to make it easy, I'll keep looking at the camera. Land nice and soft. Remember, try not to lean forward. If you can't jump, squat, turn, squat, turn, same thing, okay? Keep the eyes in one spot. Okay, so if you can't jump, just a squat is all good. All right, that's time. So our next one, crossover mountain climbers, like I said, want the knee going to the opposite elbow. Okay, ready? Let's go. Excuse me. It's never good. Candle just exploded. Better keep an eye on that, make sure that no fire starts. All right, keep going with the mountain climbers. Last three seconds, two, one, nice work. All right, jumping down. So our next one is our heel taps or side taps, okay? Keep the feet together, knees together, head and shoulders off the floor, touching the heel with the middle finger. All right, let's go. So 30 seconds, make sure that you actually have to stretch out, 
So really want to be squeezing the side as we come around. Okay, it doesn't matter how many you're doing. It's more about making sure that you're squeezing through the sides. So keep those knees and ankles together. Like I said, make sure you have to stretch. A little bit of recovery. All right, rest there, nice work. Whew. All right, starting to warm up a little bit. I hope you guys are starting to warm up, feeling okay. So we're gonna go back through our gridirons next, same thing. Okay, ready? In two, one, let's go. So down, 180 turn, bend straight into your squat. Remember, keep that upper body nice and tall. Bend the knees, drop the hips, get down into the squat. Get those fingertips to the floor. Remember, if you can't jump, that's okay. Just do a squat and turn. Keep moving, team. Keep moving. And rest. Nice work. Definitely getting the heart rate up this morning. Oh. All right, crossover mountain climbers next. Ready, let's go. So opposite knee, opposite elbow. Okay, really concentrate on getting that knee as far across as you can, as close to the elbow as you possibly can. <coughs> Remember, make sure, keep those hands under the shoulders. Hips down. Last one. Nice work. All right, rolling over. Heel taps. So ankles and knees together. Head and shoulders off the floor. Let's go. work. All right team, hopping up. We've got one more set for each one of those and we'll have a quick rest. All right, going into our grid irons in three, two, one, let's go. See, so make sure you get those feet up off the floor if you're jumping, maybe nice and soft. Like I said, if you're not jumping, squat, turn, still keep the eyes in one spot, just whatever your best range is. Can't get all the way to the floor, that's fine. Just make sure best range. And time, nice work. Last set, crossover mountain climbers. Great way to get your Saturday started. Heart rate up, get a sweat on. All right, ready, let's go. Nice guys, remember, try and get that knee as close to the elbow as you can, hips down, hands under the shoulders, working through our core here, okay, core exercise, and rest, all right, last one for the heel taps, then like I said, we'll have a short break. Okay, ready, let's go. So challenge yourself now, make sure you really stretch your feet out. So you're gonna stretch all the way around. Make it a challenge to get to those heels. Last couple of seconds, two, one. Nice work, all right. 
Grab yourself a quick drink. Hey Tracy, how you doing? Grab a quick drink if you want one. Then we're going into our next round. Like I said, I hope you guys, hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you're warming up. Like I said, particularly from the eastern states, nice and fresh. I saw that it was pretty cool over in Perth yesterday morning too. Remember with these guys, like I said, it's a great way to start your day, get a sweat on, get the blood pumping, wake up. Really want you to concentrate as you're doing this on nose breathing. So breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth as much as you can, okay? Body's designed to nose breathe. All right, so our next one, gonna go into some mini squat jumps. So down into a squat and then feet are just leaving the floor, okay? So again, putting a lot of pressure through the quads. Okay, so feet just leave the floor. Then your second one, it's a plie squat. So if you've done ballet before, feet out nice and wide, knees out over the toes. So you're forcing the knees right out. Okay, so toes further round than what you normally would with a sumo squat. So, okay, so feet right out to the side. And then the last one, just need a little bit of space. It's a side to side shuffle. Okay, touch the floor. Side to side. So for me, I'm just using the length of the couch that's in front of me, okay? If you've got a couple of meters each side, that'll be fine, or even a meter each side, okay? Just whatever you can do. Same thing, 30 seconds. All right, ready? First one, mini squat jumps in two, one, let's go. So stay down nice and low, feet just leaving the floor, keep the upper body tall. Nice and quick with these ones. Like I said, stay low, stay low. Last six seconds. And rest. Hey Frank. All right, so the next one, like I said, plie squat. Turn the feet right out, okay? Really good one for the glutes. All right, let's go. So down. And up. Okay, just make sure your feet aren't out too wide. Like I said, really want to get those knees out nice and wide. Like I said, really good one for the glutes, obviously. Quads as well. Nice little follow up after doing those jumps. If you can't jump with those first ones, guys, it's just a pulse, okay? I'll show you those next round. And rest, nice work. Okay, so our next one, side to side shuffles. Make sure we touch the ground each time, okay? Getting across and back as quick as we can. If you can't do those, just running on the spot. All right, let's go. Nice and quick, stay low. Great drill for things like basketball, netball, footy, those sorts of things where you've got to try and corral people, stay light on the feet, touch the ground at each side, and rest. Nice work. Whew. Now heart rate's up. All right, so back to mini squat jumps next. Like I said, if you can't jump, you can do a pulse instead, which I'll show you. All right, let's go. So pulse. On the bottom of your range, just pulsing. You should really feel that through the quads. Otherwise, mini jumps, feet just leaving the floor. Same thing, staying nice and low. Upper body tall. <sighs> quads burning. And rest, nice work. All right, so next one, guys, was those plie squats. So remember, feet nice and wide. Get the feet out. Good one for the glutes, let's go. Knees out nice and wide. Okay, push those knees out. That's it, nice job, team. Nice and tall in the upper body, knees out, feet wide.
best range as far as you can control. Nice work, shake the legs out. Hey, reach. All right, so next one, side to side shuttles. Like I said, if you can't do those, it's just a sprint on the spot for 30 seconds. Okay, ready? Let's go. Stay low, fast feet. I'll stay in the view. See, nice, good. See, quick feet, quick feet. Like I said, really great for your kids. If they play netball, basketball, footy, anything like that, teach them to corral. Okay, stay low, move side to side. See, so jumped, finish off. Keep touching the floor each side. Nice work, rest there. Ooh. One more set for these ones. All right, let's go. Mini squat jumps. Like I said, feet just leaving the floor, guys. Upper body nice and tall. Stay low. Try and move as quickly as you can, though. Like I said, my quads are burning. Hopefully yours are, too. Oh, hand rest, nice work. One more set, plie squats. Okay, set yourself up, feet out wide. Turn the toes right around, as far as you can. Okay, let's go. Keep those knees out. Obviously, if you've got any knee or hip issues, ankle issues, just whatever your best range is, again, anywhere where you're not getting uh, soreness or pain or anything like that, okay, that's your guide. If you are, if you can't get your feet around very far, might be tight through the glutes or adductors, so might need to do a little bit of rolling to release through there. All right, guys. Last set of shuttles. Ready? Let's go. Say hello. Touch. Oops, wrong hand. So opposite hand touches. See, good, good, good. All the way to the floor. Nice, guys, good. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. See, stay low, side to side. See, job, guys. If you just joined in, get moving side to side. If you can't go side to side, you haven't got enough space, it's a sprint on the spot. Almost done. And rest, nice job, guys. Whew. Whew. All right, next round, last round. So, we've got high knees, in out squat jumps, then it's fast feet. Okay, so fast feet, feet just leave the floor. It's gonna be as quick as you can when I say drop, chest to floor, jump up, okay? So high knees, in, out, squat jumps, fast feet, all right? Same thing, it's three sets for each one, and I reckon that'll do it for this morning. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you're doing all right. All right, high knees, ready, let's go. So pump the arms, knees up nice and high. Remember, you can step these out if you need to, but either way, nice and quick. Arms drive the legs, faster your arms move, faster your legs have to move. <coughs> Sit nice guys. Sit fast arms, fast feet, fast arms, fast feet. Sit, keep moving. And rest, nice work. So next one, in out squat jumps, okay. If you can't jump, it's just a sumo squat pulse at the bottom, okay? Feet just outside hip width. All right, ready? Let's go. In out squat jumps. Land nice and soft, straight into your squat. Up body tall. This last one should really kill the legs. Ooh. 
Remember our nose breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And time. Last one, fast feet. So quick as you can when I say drop. Chest to floor, jump up, start again. Whew. Okay, ready? Let's go, fast arms, fast feet. Drop. Drop. So you keep those arms pumping, quick feet, quick feet. Drop. So you good, keep going, keep going, sprint it out. And rest. Nice work. Sorry guys, watch just switched off. A little bit of extra rest. All right, let's go. High knees again. High knees. See, knees up nice and high, fast arms. Arms straight back, straight through. Finish off and rest. Nice work. So in that squat jump to our next one. Remember pulse if you can't jump. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay. Good landing, nice and soft, straight into your squat, upper body nice and tall. Make sure your heels are on the floor when you go down into your squat. Rest there. All right, job guys, we're almost done. Fast feet, chest drop, next one. So when I say drop, chest the floor. Okay, ready? Two, one, let's go. Fast arms, fast feet. Fast arms, fast feet. So you go, 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 drop. Down and up, quick as you can. Straight back into your sprint. Almost done. Two, one. Resting, nice work. We've got one more set, guys, of each of those. And then that's it for this morning. Whew. So high knees first, let's finish off. Okay, ready, two, one, let's go. <coughs> Dude, good guys, good, good, good. Two high knees, high knees. <coughs> to finish off. Three, two, one. Great work, all right. In out squat jumps and fast feet to go. All right, ready? Let's go. In out, landing soft, nice and low. Make sure you get a deep range with these squats. Don't just go shallow. <clears throat> Did an awesome job, guys. Keep moving, finish off. Great way to start the day. Last three, two, and rest. Nice work. All right, last set, fast feet. Whew. All right, 
ready? Two, one, let's go. Last three. Down. So you down and up quick as you can. Fast legs, fast legs. Fast arms. Down. So jump guys, obviously if you can't drop, just keep sprinting. Down. Almost done. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job guys, virtual high five. Thank you very much for jumping on this morning. Uh, I hope that like me, you've got a sweat on. As I've said before, I sweat pretty easily, but I hope you've got a sweat on. I hope you feel a bit warmer. Um, if you want to, obviously you can go through that again. So you get an hour. Otherwise, if you're happy, remember after something like that to try and help reset the body. Maybe just put on some Alpha Waves. Okay, so Alpha Waves playlist um, just on Spotify or you can just uh, um, search it on uh, YouTube. Just lie down for a couple of minutes, big deep breaths, concentrate on the breathing. Let the Alpha Waves help to reset the body. Okay. Bring yourself back down out of that stress state because obviously that sort of training puts your body into a stress state as you know as good as it can be to, to get the heart rate going, get the blood pumping first thing in the morning. It does put you into a stress state. So as I said, if you can, take a little bit of time just to put on some alpha waves or even just um, just relax, you know, just lie down on the floor, big deep breaths, you know, for a couple of minutes just to help reset the body. Um, I hope you have an amazing day, guys, wherever you are around the country or the world. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to jump on and do a bit of a uh, talk on running. So if you're interested in running, uh, in improving your running or getting started into running, make sure you jump on and have a look. Uh, but as I said, guys, huge love for me. Keep supporting the aid. Thank you so much for all of your support for Happiness Aid so far. Um, you know, it obviously is a truly incredible movement. And I'm so, uh, so incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to be here with you guys for happiness aid. So as I said, guys, have an amazing day and huge love from me. See you guys.